after probably a couple months of starting this project, I'm finally getting back on it. As you can see, uh, my room is kind of a mess right now because I'm uh, getting everything set up. Um, but basically, um, where I left off from last time, compared to now, I had cut it out and everything, and now the motor is glued to the uh, the foam, hot glued down. Um, so it's hopefully going to stay on there. It's pretty solid. And screwed it into this uh, just a piece of wood, and I carved this out so the wires will kind of lay flat because I'm. I think I'm going to cover this whole thing with another layer of, uh, another piece of foam. Um, so I just uploaded the code onto this Arduino Nano. That would be my receiver. And this code says transmitter. Um, and I just downloaded all this, by the way. I can't take credit for it. But basically, I downloaded the transmitter to this. Arduino Nano, which will be in the remote, in the remote control. And next I'll have to hook up one of these antennas to each, the transmitter and the receiver. These are called HC12s. And I had uh, already, I've already soldered the antenna onto the board. So... Uh, next will be probably soldering the wires so they stay connected to the board and then uh, test it out and see uh, see if it works um, one cool thing is I bought this charger uh, a couple months ago and um, tested it and then never uh, never used it until now so I'm gonna hook up my uh, battery I'll show you my battery here, Turnergy. So that's what was uh, recommended uh, for the project. So I bought that. So I'll charge that with the Venom, and then hook it up to here, and then uh, hopefully this will be self-sustaining power. And then I'll probably run power to the other board through my computer and then try and figure out if this thing will even work. Cool.